If you're looking to build a customizable landing page for you or your brand, you've come to the right place. This video is going to walk you through how to use Flowpage, a mobile optimized landing page that allows you to host all of your links, collect contact information, or feature your own contact information on the page. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you're logged into your Flowcode account. And once you're logged in, navigate to the left-hand toolbar. Then go ahead and select Flow Pages. The quickest and easiest way to create a flow page is by browsing through our templates. But if you'd like to start from scratch, you can do so on this page as well. Simply go ahead and navigate to Create Page and either browse some of the starter templates that Flowcode has to offer, or you can go ahead and start with a blank page. Now let's go ahead and select from one of our pre-designed templates. You can just go ahead and quickly hover Use Template or you can even preview the template to get a sense of what this template would look like if you were to implement it. To begin, go ahead and give your page a URL. You can either default to Flowcode's flow.page domain, or you can always bring your own domain. Then you'll want to enter a slug. The slug is anything that precedes the forward slash at the end of your domain. Now, go ahead and get started. And there you go. Your template has been pre-populated and now you can go ahead and edit everything you see on this page. You can edit, delete, or add any widgets that you'd like to this page. Simply go ahead and navigate to any of the modules and select the pencil to edit, or navigate to the trash can, of course, to delete. And you can also hide any module on the page in the design process. If you want to add an extra link on this page, go ahead and navigate to add link and be sure to add a link URL. You can also select an image display type. Here you'll see I have no image, but I also have the option to add an icon to every little link here, or I can add a featured image if I really want to make a link stand out on my page. Then of course, you'll want to identify a link title and an optional description. With the Pro Plus plans and above, you have the option to customize every link even further with font colors and text sizes. Even link colors and border colors are available as well. If you'd like to add or explore any of our advanced widgets, such as the opportunity to upload a PDF file, embed a YouTube video, perhaps you wanna collect contact information on this page, or even add your own contact information, you can do so on this page as well. Just go ahead and click any of the widgets that you'd like to add, and they'll automatically populate onto this page. Next, let's talk about design. If you're not satisfied with the design, you can go ahead and navigate to the design tab and enter your brand's hex colors to default as the background, or you can choose from any of our default colors here. Go ahead and choose a shade, and this will adjust the opacity on the page. And you can even browse through Google Fonts and font colors and text sizes. Next, you can adjust link shapes, link styles, and you can adjust link colors, shadow colors, or even reset your link styling. And of course, you can always upload a background image to your flow page to add a little more customization. And remember, your flow page activity, such as page views and link clicks, can be tracked in real time in your analytics dashboard. And that's it you can go ahead and connect your flow page to a flow code, or you can add your flow page link to your link in bio and simply copy your slug if you navigate to the top left and hover over the two rectangular icons and just click, and that URL will be copied to your dashboard. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to check out our resource library if you have any more questions about flow code or flow page. Thanks for watching.